T-bone steak in the bag. It's all about the beef. So after the video, when we um, pause the video, um, we put our stuff in the bag so it won't like get oily and stuff. We're gonna beat it, honey. After you put it in the bag, we're gonna start beating it. So we get the season down in the T-bone. So we gotta wash our hands before we get it. And I know we wash our hands. Um, a wooden spoon would be best. And we have the wooden spoon. We just want to beat your steak. And then when you beat your steak, the season is going to go in your T-bone. It should look like that. I wash my plate out because I'm going to reuse it. What I'm gonna do is pull my T-bone steak back out. And I'll get me a fork. I'll get a fork. And what I do to my T-bone, I will beat the season in. It's gonna be real perfect. I'll flip it over, do the same thing. And like I said once before, accent, you never can use too much. Good. And don't forget your season. Just a little bit. You want to beat it in. And my favorite. <coughs> What is my favorite? Go on, tell me my favorite, Jay. It, whistle sauce. Her favorite is whistle sauce. Yep, and then we're gonna find the whistle fine sauce. Marriage. Where's the whistle sauce? Okay. Yep. She loves whistle sauce. I dab a whistle sauce. sauce on each side. And you know what we're going to do with this steak? We're going to put this steak in a Ziploc bag. And freshen it up. It's on YouTube. Then, your steak. We got a lot of videos of her cooking. Your steak should look perfectly. And then now you have to shake it, right? No. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator, let it chill for about 30 minutes. And then, then we're gonna come back and put it on this hot grill. And what a perk steak, and I'll get back with you. Make sure you hit that thumbs up like button, subscribe, and comment down below. Say bye, Granny. Bye.